I began working at the BRI here as the education officer in August of 2009 and have helped create additional trainings to educate our researchers and employees. The BRI hosts training for both our in-house employees and researchers who conduct work at the BRI. The researchers who work at the BRI are either K-State faculty or outside organizations or agencies who utilize our space. They are not full-time employees here at the BRI, but they do go through specialized training before conducting work here. Each employee at the BRI and researcher is required to complete the BRI training needs assessment in which we are able to identify specialized trainings unique to each individual. Depending on research projects, researchers will complete an average of 29 hours of training here at the BRI before working in biocontainment. Employees on average here at the BRI are required to complete 14 hours of training. Our operations and maintenance personnel are required to attend approximately nine to 10 hours of training a year as well. One way that I have helped enhance the, the trainings that are conducted here is to develop training videos. I have helped design and, and direct about 30 training videos to improve the biosafety level three training that we conduct. The BRI offers trainings to researchers both in the classroom as well as in our state-of-the-art training laboratory. The lab exercises include emergency exercises, sample manipulations, as well as transporting samples in the laboratory. By receiving specialized training here at the BRI, researchers will be able to protect themselves, the samples that they work with, as well as the community.